Eli Manning, man. How'd you get me in this gig? What the hell's wrong with you? Bro? You're not doing your job. <laughs> All right. Ray, thanks thanks so much for having us to your course. I always wanted to play here, but uh, I just thought if I invited myself, you might accept. So uh, thanks so much. By the way, it's not my course, but yeah. I don't own this course, but yeah. We feel like America's guest today. And thanks again for breakfast. We put that on your tab as well. Yes. Okay. I didn't know I had a tab, but okay. All right. No problem. All, All right. right. Here we go. Here we go. Golf with Ray Romano. That's what I'm talking about. At Liberty National. It's a beautiful day in the Northeast in October. Got a great view of the Statue of Liberty. Let's play some golf. Whose idea was this? Uh, I'm, I know you're a big poker guy, right? I play it a lot, but it doesn't mean I'm good at it. You know what I mean? Really. What's your typical game on the golf course? Your bet. What do you like to play? Here. How about this bet? All right, here we go. So I directed a movie, right? It's going to come out in the spring. It's called Somewhere in Queens. I've heard. If you win, yeah. you've got to wear a Somewhere in Queens jersey on one of your shows. Okay. And if... No, sorry. No, if, I, if, if I yeah. win, you have I to win. <laughs> He's going to take it. That's an easy bet. That's yeah. an yeah. Right. A whiff. Oh, yeah. I tried to hit that. No, no. It's not a warm-up. I win. <laughs> you have to wear that. And if you win, at the premiere of the movie, okay. when I walk the red carpet, I got to wear an Eli Manning, whatever you got. I don't wow. know. What do you got? How about everybody loves Eli? <laughs> <laughs> but how much do I have to show it? So you're getting yeah. a better end of this deal. Yeah, I know. You came yeah. up with the bet. Because if, <laughs> if I walk the red carpet. You can't make up the bet and then say I'm getting a better, a better deal on like this. That. I don't like that bet. No, because yeah. if I walk the red carpet and entertainment tonight, yes. that's going to be a couple million people seeing it. Correct. With your show, what, like seven, people are going to. Seven. No, we had seven people saw it. <laughs> Here we go. There it is. Oh, oh hello. Might find it. Takes a lot of work to be a 14 handicap. Playable. What was your big break? Was it Letterman? Like going on Letterman early on? Well, I mean, technically, yes, it was Letterman because before Letterman, I had done, you know, The Tonight Show with Carson before right. he retired. Okay. And I did all the other TV shows, but nothing materialized from it. And when I did Letterman, my first Letterman, he signed me to a development deal. It means you contractually sign with him for like six months and they try to develop a TV show oh, for wow. you. And that's how Everybody Loves Raymond came. Worldwide Pants produced Everybody Loves Raymond. I didn't know that. So I did my first spot. They called my house on a Saturday, I remember. I was living in Queens still. And I had been doing stand-up for like 11 years. And I had three little kids, me and my wife, making a living. I was grinding it out. And I got the call. And it was the producer of Letterman. And he said, hey, uh, Dave liked what he saw. He was considering signing it to a deal. So don't take any other offers if they come along. And I said, nothing's coming along, man. I'm, I'm, I'm raking the leaves in my backyard right now. Yeah. And he signed me and that became Everybody Loves Raymond, yeah. And then how did the name Everybody Loves Raymond no. come about? Because <laughs> on the show, it's really your mom is the only person that loves you, I felt like, on the show. Everybody else hated you. It should be yeah. everybody except my mom hates yeah. Raymond. Well, first That's of all, I did not title. want that name for the, for the show. <laughs> that became a working title. That, as a quote from my brother, my brother was a New York cop, and he used to say it sarcastically. He used to say, I go to work and I get shot at. Raymond goes to work and everybody loves Raymond. <laughs> I told him, don't use it. I don't want that as a thing. He goes, we'll change it when it, whatever. As a self-deprecating comic, you don't want a title of everybody, everybody loves. loves. Yeah. And he wouldn't let me change it. But I hate myself enough to balance it all out. Yeah. <laughs> How much of that show like was actually like real life stuff? You know, we used to come in and say, what happened, what happened today? What, what happened, happened on the weekend? Yes. Everything I did in my house, anything that was a possible story got on. And, you know, there'd be times where I'd be arguing with my wife and she'd say, I don't want to see this on the show. I don't want to see this on the show. <laughs> You're not allowed to use that. <laughs> yeah. Anytime she would complain, I would give her my usual response to uh, go cry in a bag of money. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't. <laughs> I'm going to write that one down. Yeah. <laughs> 
know. <laughs> when we have sex now, my wife has to take off her Apple Watch because it keeps saying, time to move. <laughs> there you go. There's my, there's my new joke. The brother, that relationship on, on the show, I mean, I think everybody yeah. that has a brother, like, you just... You yeah, know, well, that was Brad exactly Garrett. Was yeah. your real brother no. a lot taller? No, my, <laughs> my brother was shorter than me. So I remember seeing him on TV. And I'm saying, I said, that guy? You know, as my brother, you know, because he's six foot eight. Yeah. I said, it's, it doesn't make sense to me. But that was like the little bit of magic that you have to have in casting. He brought this thing that we didn't write to it, you know? We didn't write that he's this hang doggy kind of, you know, something. That wasn't how we wrote the character. He brought that in as, as, as an actor. And it's little things like that that, you know, you get lucky. Don't say all right, just a little bit, you know. Winter, winter rules. Winter rules. Oh, nice. Oh, oh. Very nice. Very nice shot. Oh. There you go. Well, here is the only person that has a life-size picture of himself on his own golf ball. Oh, that's oh, good. Yes, get over. Oh, you're good. Good shot. Your new movie, you're, you're in it and directing somewhere in, yeah, in Queens and wrote it and it's about... It's a family, Italian American family in Queens and my son is graduating high school and he was a basketball star but he was gonna come in the family business, work for construction, you know, oh, okay. after. And then his son actually gets an offer to play at a small school so he wants him to do that and and that was the inspiration for the for the movie yeah and it was my first time directing and it was the scariest thing i ever did if it fails it's all me <laughs> i wrote directed starred uh, you know it's there's no one else to blame did you uh, did you reach out to anybody like scorsese or anybody i ex al pacino if he wanted to play my father and he politely, yeah. <laughs> well, he's got I mean, He had a lot of stuff to do, you know, whatever. The fact that I even know Al Pacino is just well, you're, surreal. You're in the Irishman know, with Pacino crazy. And, and De Niro. And that's got to be pretty unbelievable. And, and Pesci, it's crazy. Oh, yeah. Pacino gave me my favorite uh, insult, but it wasn't on purpose. Like, I had to wear like a little fat suit sometimes because sometimes I'm 70 years, 80 years old, sometimes I'm 60, whatever. And as I age, they gave me a little thing. So we went for lunch. I must have ate a lot at lunch because I came back and we were starting the scene and Pac Al Pacino got all confused. He looks at me and he goes, goes Ray, I didn't know you, you. this is a scene with the fat suit. I go, I'm not wearing it, Al. I'm not wearing a fat suit. I was sitting and I was bloated. And I big guess, lunch, big lunch, big lunch. I guess I had, uh, I don't know what I ate, but I bloated, yeah. 62 to the flag. 60, huh? Oh, oh yes. sit down, dog. All right. Oh, no. Oh, you too. You scolded it too a little. What are you doing? Wait, wait, whoa. It's a free drop, free drop today. You love your that 50 yard bunker shot. That's like you're, you practice that all the time. All right. It should be an asterisk yeah. with the yeah, sand. It's an asterisk like the sand, the, the ground sand thing. Are, they don't want us playing uh, on the bunker. Free drop screen. Right? There's no one here. There's not a ground screen. I know. That's why they don't want us playing on the bunkers. It doesn't There's matter. nobody there to fix them. It doesn't. No, and no. There's a lot of water. Uh, it's not a good day for the beach. All right, right now yeah. it's uh, time. We're going to play a little game called Sink It or Say It. All right, so here are the rules. I'm gonna ask you a question. Yeah. And it's gonna be a tough question, and then you don't answer it yet. You hit your putt. If you make it, you don't have to give the answer to the question. <laughs> if you miss it, you gotta answer it. And, right. and, and I have to play this game. Yes, you have to okay. play it. It's in your contract. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you read through the fine, the fine print All there. All right. All right, uh, uh, question number one. Yeah. What's the most money you've ever lost in poker? Yeah. All right, so, yeah, okay. My, my wife's never gonna see yeah, this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not that bad anyway. All right, it's pretty straight. I think it falls just a touch to the right. Touch to the right? I think yeah, it's just like a left edge. 10,000! 10,000, 10,000, oh wow. But the, the World Series of Poker is a $10,000 buy-in. Buy so, yeah. so that's it. So yeah. no like, you know, big, you had lost your house or anything, no, or no. car. All right, second question. So, yes. Who's the worst celebrity golfer that you've ever played with? You can't say Sean, because he's not a celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> All, All right, right, here you go. Let's go. All right, you got the read now. Where's the break? 
Uh, oh, Brad Garrett. Brad Garrett. Yeah. I mean, he, listen. I mean, that's your, that's your, he's on your show. It's your co-partner. You're trying to throw him out. I'm going to send him this. He, sure he, knows, watch, he, he watches knows, this he show. He knows he's the worst. He's a Giants fan. He watches this show. Here we go. Last question. If there's one other sitcom that you would have enjoyed being the star of besides Everybody Loves Raymond, which would it be? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going right you at it. Can't say King of Queens. Can't say that one. Oh, Get maybe. That. Yeah! Not answering it! Not answering that Not question. Not answering. <laughs> Darn it! Why didn't we do that one the first question? We've already got three looks at it. Good point. There we go. Woo! That's Great. how you play. Sink it or say it. Good job, Ray. Curb your enthusiasm! All right. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like it. Here we are, 18th hole. The bet is still intact. And uh, basically, Ray's got a two putt to win and I have to wear a somewhere, <laughs> somewhere in Queens shirt on the show. Sean's just, he's thinking about the hot dog. He's about to eat it at the, when we finish up here. Making two. <laughs> Making two. All right, two we, don't, we don't want that. Two putt to win. I gotta get back to the city. It's, it's the, the Holland Tunnel is gonna be murder. <laughs> How about a one no, no, putt? No, 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 oh. no. No gimmies. No, no gimmies. No gimmies. Take, take your time. <laughs> I've seen O'Hara miss one of these. There oh, it is. Boom. Well done. No, well oh, done. Oh, thank God. Great match. Good round. Great thank being you. with you. Thank you, man. I appreciate Thanks so it. much it for fun. coming. I look yeah. forward to wearing my my somewhere in Queens shirt and uh, and watching. Oh, thank oh, you, we man. Got, this we was a, fun. We got some. Oh, we got a jersey. Oh, there you go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna really make you into a Giants fan. Yeah, let's go. Everyone look here. Come around. Hey Giants fans, Eli Manning here. Want to see more videos? Subscribe now to the Giants YouTube channel.